Melania Trump snub as first lady refuses to contact Joe Biden amid U.S. election chaos. Melania Trump is following in the footsteps of her husband Donald Trump as she is yet to call her successor Joe Biden, according to reports. President Donald Trump has not accepted Joe Biden's election when claiming that there has been voter fraud with no evidence. Mr. Biden's wife, Dr. Biden, is already setting her agenda for her role as America's next first lady. Dr. Biden's spokesperson, Michael LaRosa, told the Daily Mail, Dr. Biden is enormously grateful to the country for electing her husband and Senator Harris. Joe Biden will be a president for all Americans. She is spending time with her children and grandchildren in Wilmington, Delaware. Dr. Biden is focused on building her team and developing her priorities focused on education, military families and veterans, and cancer. Dr. Biden said she would like to carry on working as a teacher while serving as the First Lady, an uncommon move taken by presidential spouses. Dr. Biden is a mother of a late service member, Bo Biden, and she has said military veterans and families will be one of her main priorities. Her and Michelle Obama created the initiative Joining Forces but it is unclear whether she will reignite the project or create a new one. The Joining Forces initiative focused on three areas for military families, employment, education and wellness. Through the program, U.S. businesses hired over 50,000 veterans and military spouses. During Barack Obama's presidency, Former Vice President Joe Biden worked with him and governors to change state laws to benefit military spouses. During Melania Trump's time as First Lady, she created the Project Be Best which focuses on the well-being of children. M. Strub hired a small team while in the White House compared to other First Ladies. She had around 10 staff members while her predecessors Michelle Obama and Laura Bush had about 25. But Ms. Trump has enforced coronavirus safety measures by having her staff work from home when possible and insisting they wear face coverings in the East Wing. Dr. Biden is expected to hire a larger staff team for help work on her projects. It is unclear how the transition process will go ahead given that Mr. Trump is yet to accept the election results. It is traditional for the current president to host his successor but whether Mr. Trump welcomes Mr. Biden is yet to be seen. Despite Mr. Trump's criticisms of his predecessor, Mr. Obama welcomed the Trumps after their election win. The Obamas hosted President Trump and Melania on November 10, 2016, two days after Mr. Trump won the election. Ms. Obama gave Ms. Trump a tour of the White House living quarters. The former press secretary, Josh Ernest, said the two ladies talked about raising kids at the White House, and you know, Obviously the First Lady's two daughters spent their formative years of their childhood at the White House and M. Trump's son will also spend some important years of his childhood here at the White House. In a recent tweet, M. Trump appeared to reiterate her husband's refusal to accept the election results. She wrote, The American people deserve fair elections. Every legal, not illegal, vote should be counted. We must protect our democracy with complete transparency.